Hey everyone, Dan Harlinger from On One here. Today, with our final sneak peek of the season, I want to show you about our new Content Aware Crop Tool and the improvements we've made to our Content Aware Fill algorithm. So here we are inside of Photo Raw, and I've got a photo that was taken on a normal digital camera. If you guys notice, most normal digital cameras have about a two by three aspect ratio, or pretty close to a five by seven aspect ratio. So if you want to print a five by seven, you don't have to crop anything off. Things work out great. But what happens when you want to make an 8x10? Let's take a look. If you don't leave enough space in your photo, this is a common thing that'll happen. I just grabbed the crop tool and I've grabbed the 4x5 or the 8x10 aspect ratio crop box. And you'll notice that in order to make a print of that size, I'm going to have to cut off part of the photo. And on a photo that's tightly composed like this one, I'm going to end up losing important parts of the car. That'd be a very frustrating thing. So in the past, what you'd have to do is you'd have to expand your canvas out and try to do a bunch of brushing and stuff to try to make it better. Now, with Content Aware Fill, we can just automatically do that for you. So you notice up here in the Tool Options bar, there's a checkbox that says Content Aware. And when I enable that, it now lets me stretch the crop box outside of the photo rather than being limited to the edge of the photo. So watch, now I can just grab any of these handles and I can just pull, now the crop box will go outside the photo. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so you guys can see the crop box in action here. I'm just gonna keep pulling that out until I get all the area outside of my car and there you go. You can see how it's resized my canvas and it's filled in that vacant area with realistic information from the photo. It's continued up the window, it's put in that concrete wall behind it, so now I can make an 8x10 without having to lose any of the important details inside of your photo. It's also really handy if you have a tightly composed photo, but you didn't have the horizon line quite level. You level it out with a crop tool, it's gonna cut off the corners. This will fill those corners in for you automatically. Here's another example. Again, tightly composed photo, I've got cameras out all the way to the edges. What I really want to be able to do is to use my transform tool to tilt this photo back a little bit to help correct some of the perspective problems in it. But watch what happens when I do that. I'm going to open up my tools over here on the right so you can see them. We'll go down to the transform pane. And if I use that vertical control to try to tilt that back, you see I've created these triangles on the sides that need to be filled in. Well, there's no detail there to fill it in, but if I expand my canvas first and then repeat this operation, I'll have information. So let me show you. I'm just going to reset this back. We'll grab our crop tool. I'll make sure Content Aware is turned on, and I'll just expand the canvas out a little bit. Now you notice there's some black tape on these corners. It's probably going to lead to some interesting artifacts, but don't worry, we always have the perfect eraser to fill those in with. I'm just going to switch over and grab the perfect eraser. The Perfect Eraser has been improved a lot as well. The same algorithm that's used for Content Aware Crop is also used for the Content Aware Fill that's used inside of the uh, Perfect Eraser. So watch, I can just paint over that area and it automatically samples the area around it, fills it in so it looks realistic and seamless. So there we go. Now we've expanded that tabletop surface. Now if I come down and I use my vertical control, I can tilt it back until I get a more pleasant perspective. And then I'll use the scale slider to zoom in to remove those little triangles on the edges. And I'm back to where I started from, but now I've corrected that perspective. You can even use it in cases to recompose, to create a horizontal photo of a vertical photo in cases where you have a fairly consistent background. So watch, let's say I'm working on a page layout and I want to be able to add some text, some copy onto this photo. Well, right now it doesn't work because my layout is a letter sized horizontal. So I'm just going to grab my crop tool. I'm going to switch over to the eight and a half by 11 crop. I'm going to flip it to make it horizontal. So now I've got a letter sized horizontal page. I'll just turn on content aware crop. And then now I can expand and adjust this out so that I've got space on the left hand side. That space on the left hand side is where I would be able to put my copy that I want to put in. I'll hit apply and now it'll automatically expand that background for me. There you go. Just a few ways that you can use the new Content Aware Crop to help you recompose your photos, make sure you keep all the important details in them. Thanks for watching.